Carl here from Games, Brains and a Head Banging Life, GBHBL.com for sure. And with Incineration Fest right around the corner, it's time to have a little chat about it. Going to run you through the stages, going to run you through the bands that are playing across the four venues and talk a little bit about the day and why if you haven't got a ticket already, you should probably get on this. This will be my fourth, fourth attendance. Yeah, because obviously we don't count COVID year. Yeah, I think this, yeah, this is my fourth uh, attendance at Incineration Fest and always had a blast, even when it's been insanely busy to the point where you can't get in certain venues. The Roundhouse year in particular was hard to get into the Black Heart, but for the most part, it's easy enough just to flow between each uh, venue, picking the bands carefully that you want to see. And you can have a blast over that day because everything is in such walkable distance. Of course, it takes place in the heart of London. It is Camden town spread across four venues it's the dev which is the pub around the back of the electric ballroom down that side of the road we've got the black heart as well just near the world's end which is the pub opposite the station around the corner down the alleyway we have um the underworld of course directly underneath the world's end you know it and you love it and we have the bigger venue the biggest of the four the electric ballroom so all within like a minute's walk from each other from camden town underground station takes place on saturday the 11th of may 2024 it is a one day all day and normally kicks off band wise around Half 12, one-ish, uh, one of the earlier stages, these smaller stages do anyway. You get your wristband and you're off and rolling. Wander Camden, stop for a drink, get some food and go see some mighty fine metal because Incineration Fest is metal. It is an extreme metal festival, booked as such, billed as such. And you will see a variety of heavy, heavy noise from the world of Black, Death, Doom and so on. Um... This year's lineup is pretty varied in my opinion. There's some really exciting bands in it. There's some iconic bands as well. And across the entire day, I really think there's more than enough uh, to, to ensure you have a damn good day. You won't be able to see everything. Of course, clashes and uh, time and just the fact that it's an all day, you know, you're kicking off like we do at 11, 11.30 and running all the way through till 10, 11 at night. Chances are you're going to end up missing some during the day as you just need a rest, you need to get some food. You just need to take five minutes from the blast of noise. But you should definitely try and do as much as you can. As I say, the most important thing about Incineration Fest is plan ahead. If you want to see two bands and they happen to be crossing over slightly and so on, but are both what you would consider popular bands and they're in obviously two different venues you might you're not going to be necessarily able to say just leave and go straight to the other one because obviously that place might be falling they're doing a one in and one out system so you do need to plan ahead so yeah i'm gonna just talk you through the bands and what stages they're playing on now there are no stage times as of the time of recording which is wednesday the 10th of april according to a recent social media post they will be releasing stage times next week so can't wait to see that and then we can really really plan but for now we're going to go from the dev upwards to the ballroom just talking about the bands that are playing there so on the dev which is of course the smallest venue of all it's a pub um if you don't know it it's got a small stage at the back nice amount of room back there so you can get quite a few people in but it is the dev it is a pub and it's still kind of regularly busy as well but do love that place just if you do get close to that stage Make sure you got some form of earphones, headphones in sound deaf, you know, uh, sound dulling because that place can be deafening. We have on that stage Slime Lord, Malediction, Vakfus, Anakim, Lost Brethren, and Corpsing. That is a really strong stage, in my opinion. Uh, of that, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to be able to see Malediction and Corpsing specifically. Those are the two that I really, really want to check out, but I would also happily, provided there's no clashes, check out Anakim. The others I'm not too sure about, don't know them too well, but the joy of Incineration Fest is that you, you don't have to know everything if you, if you just go check something out. Like all festivals, you'll end up finding a band you I absolutely really, really love. Then we come to the Black Heart. Now this, to me, is the strongest stage, uh, personally, of the entire day. Uh, with some generally amazing bands, but also bands that I think are going to absolutely pack the venue out.
I mean, the first two bands on that stage lineup are two of my favourite bands from the UK at the moment. It's Burner. Oh, my God. I cannot believe the stage starts with Burner. Absolutely incredible, incredible band. Um, and generally planning, planning to hopefully get in there to see them live. It is not too busy. Even though I've seen them live loads already, and I'll see them live again this year because they're at Bloodstock. Um, I, 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 I always want... My brother, Brendan, of course, uh, hasn't seen him live. So I kind of want to drag him along and be like, check these guys out, as well as Wallowing, because Wallowing follow at Burner. So I mean, Burner, then Wallowing. Fucking insane. Both incredible bands. I've uh, seen them live both, uh, both live loads, uh, and I'm more than happy to see him again. I'm hoping this is the start of my day, um, just going ape shit and being blasted by the noise that is Burner and Wallowing. Fantastic. Then we get Devastator, Abduction. Um, while I don't know much about Devastator, at least that I can think of, maybe the name's a bit too generic, that's why, but Abduction, fantastic. I'm actually like surprised they're playing the Black Heart. I think it's going to be rammed in there. But I also think Cryptic Shift are going to pull a massive crowd in as well, but arguably the one I think really, really might pull the most insane crowd and have people waiting outside to come in is the Sun's Journey Through the Night. I mean, seriously, the Black Heart, that I, I'm not criticising Incineration Fest booking or uh, bat or stage placement jesus christ a professional has been doing this for a very very long time but man that band should be on the underworld in my opinion but there you go they're in the black heart it is going to be immense i hope i get to see them not entirely convinced i will be able to get in there for that particularly as they're later in the day and there's you know at the moment i can't work i can't see clashes i can't work out clashes but i suspect there's a few high bands on uh, the other stages that might end up interfering with that. And then we've got Butcher as the headliner of that stage. Don't know much about them, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, that's it. Then that brings us to the Underworld. We'll get to the bigger venues. Now, weirdly, this is probably the stage where I'm not got loads that I want to see. If I check out something in there, it'll be cool. But I'm not, I'm not there's nothing jumping out at me, personally. But hey, one man's trash, although I'm not saying any of these bands are trash, is another man's gold, of course. And we're here, we have Anti Inferno. Don't know. Youth Era. Oh, God, I want to try and say this. Thantafaxeth. Thantafaxeth? Set faster like that. Not too familiar with them as well. It does get quite cool with Hexus and Conan then. Both are pretty good bands. I wouldn't mind checking out a bit of Conan. Always, always enjoy Conan live. And then we get Dead Congregation. And I'm not too familiar with them. I'm not too familiar with them. Based on the logo, it looks like it might be a bit of an old school kind of blackness, but uh, I'm not too familiar with them. Hell, like, like everything at Generation Fest, and I keep coming back to, if I've got nothing going on, why wouldn't I poke my head in the underworld? It is Generation Fest, and it is an incredible day. And that brings us to the fourth stage, the Electric Ballroom stage in here. There's plenty that I would like to check out, provided I get time. Uh, Fen, Fen are the opening band, fantastic band. And then Winterfile, these guys are fantastic every time I see them. Uh, even though I always seem to get the name wrong, I love seeing these guys live. They are one of the must-sees again for this. Um, I'm hoping they don't clash with what I want to see the Black Heart because they're on quite early in the day, but we shall see. It's it's If I have to choose, let's say, between Wallowing and Winterfile, um, It'll be a tough choice because I've seen both live loads and I'll see both live again in the future. Carpathian Forest. I will go out my way to check these guys out. Um, I'm not likely to see these guys much, I think. And it's a bit of a, a bucket list band, so to speak. Then we get Belfagor. Again, I don't think, I think I might have seen them at a festival in the past, but I certainly don't think I've ever been to their own show. So I'll certainly be... Hoping to check them out too. And then what I think might be the band of the day, certainly my most anticipated. It's an Al Nakrath uh fantastic get for Incineration Fest. I think I think this is gonna be the rotten Christ of last year, where the place was just rammed and everyone was there for it. I think this will be the case with an Al Nakrath. Fantastic band. Definitely, definitely want to see him. Can't wait. And then we wrap up with Amorphous. Um, if it was me. It'd be the other way around. I'm telling you right now, uh, I like Amorphous, but I am not that hot on them. And I kind of see my night, not necessarily wrapping up, but certainly maybe, maybe this would be an example of where I wander over and check out Dead Congregation in the underworld rather than watch Amorphous. I'm not sure on that. All depending on the vibe and so on. But seriously, reading it back like that, how good is that? 
Three out of four of the stages have several bands I really want to see. The fourth stage has a couple that I'm interested in seeing. I have a full day there. If I was to, right, if I'm going to try and do predictions because it's six per stage. So what can I up? What my way up? I am going, my day is hopefully going to be this. Hopefully. I'm hoping it's going to be burner, wallowing. Um, yeah, burner, wallowing. I'm being realistic here as well. I, I'm trying to look and see whether probably clashes. Burner, wallowing, wallowing. We're going to file a Carpathian Forest. Carpathian Forest. Fuck. Oh. Abduction, maybe. Maybe around that time, hopefully. Back over to the Black Heart for abduction. Fingers crossed. Um, maybe Belphegor, maybe. I'm not too sure, maybe. And El Nakrath, 100% sure. Possibly. If they're not clashing, but they look like they might, based off the fact they're in the same position. Conan and the Underworld. Um, and maybe the Sun's Journey Through the Night. I can see all of them being on around the same time, so I'm not very hopeful to uh, see all of that. Maybe, hopefully, then Corpsing. Corpsing in the Dev might be how I wrap things up. And, or Dead Congregation in the Underworld. Not a bad day, you know. Incineration Fest, if you can get... If you can get five or six bands under your belt um, across the day, you've you you you've you've earned back the ticket price alone. Um, so if you do seven or eight, I mean, congratulations if you're able to do that, of course, as well. And if you're able to do even more than that, then incredible. It's running back to venue to venue to venue. Um, but I can't wait. I cannot wait for this. This has become one of my favorite days. Uh, of the year one of my favorite one day festivals and i love that we have in london because we have so many great one days happening all over the country but not enough in london so the scene celebration fest not just thrive but continue to put on great lineups after great lineups without really compromising their their their, their, their creed us their creed they never it's always been extreme metal fest and it continues to be an extreme metal fest sadly 11th of may 2024 Four venues, Camden Town, London. You're going to have a blast of a day, get to meet people, get to chat to people, have a drink, and just enjoy the life because it's Camden, which is a lively place at the best of times. Come along. Still buy a ticket. We'll be there, and hopefully we'll see you down the front head bang into some of this noise. What do you reckon? What do you think of the lineup? What's the bands that you want to see? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website, where reviews, news, and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.